Amanda here with your May 2019 rune scope. This month, along with our runes, we will be using the Tarot in Wonderland by Barbara Moore and Eugene Smith. Uh, then, as always, be sure to join me for part two of your May reading over on my Vimeo channel. I will be pulling and interpreting one card from the Witchlings Oracle by Paulina Cassidy. You'll find that link below. So do click or tap the little arrow. As always, be sure also to check out the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you additional messages and information. Uh, most times with these general readings, because they are for thousands of people, uh, you're probably going to find that one is more accurate, the rising sign reading, um, than your sun sign most months. If you would like something all about you, I'm always available for private sessions. Just drop me a line at my email address. It's here in the video and also below. Um, I do those on Skype. So just email me and we can set that up. All the information is below. But in general, let's jump in for Aries and see what May has in store for the Rams and Ramettes. <sighs> there it is. Also, if you would like to support the channel, um, you can do so by subscribing. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do. Um, and that will uh, ensure that you're notified whenever I post new videos, they will go to your feed. Um, you can also click the bell if you wanna be notified when I upload new videos. You can also share this channel with friends and family uh, on the social media platform of your choice. Um, you know, sometimes sharing a video or sharing the channel can lead somebody who, uh, get the message uh, at just the right time to somebody who needs it. It's a kind of way to pay it forward. So if you do share it, I would greatly appreciate it if you share the channel and I'm sure they would too, if they find the information helpful. In general, Aries, what is up? What is up? Challenge or focus? Got the seven of wands. Well, the challenge seems to be um, defending your stance, defending your uh, defending a decision. Um, you've got Thor's rune here. So, I mean, it could be that you are taking a risk or you have taken a risk. Um, and, uh, you know, other, other people may be like, oh, man, why would you want to do that? Or, you know, that's a big change to make. Um, there's something I feel like many of you are, are, are deciding in May to, to you're jumping in and, um, you know, other people may not understand that. Now, also this could be going on with someone close to you. They could be making a leap that you're thinking, Oh God, this is not going to end well. So you, you, and you know, um, you could be trying to talk them out of something, you, you know, you may feel like they're doing something foolhardy. Like they need more time to, they should think more about this or get more information. It's a big shift or change and you're, you just, you're concerned about them um, or they're concerned about you. So, um, but yeah, the seven of rods is about uh, standing your, standing your ground, um, maintaining your faith in a situation or a change. Um, or someone else is doing that, but it could be causing some disagreements here. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes we can't get people to see our point of view. Uh, you know, we can try to be empathetic and try to put ourselves in other people's shoes, but I, you know, until you've walked a mile in that person's shoes, um, literally, which we can't do because we're always stuck in our own brain. It, it, we're never going to fully understand why <laughs> <laughs> people are do humans are perplexing creatures we're never going to quite understand their motivations or the way you know and people don't always live our lives their lives the way that we would live our lives right that's uh you know we're all snowflakes and all of that we're, we're all different and um we all have different values and different things that motivate us and different baggage and different challenges that we're dealing with so um yeah i think there's just kind of like a misunderstanding somebody doesn't understand you or you're not understanding someone else here in may and who that's going to be is going to vary again because this is for so many people so who it is that you're not getting or whoever it is that's not getting you it, it's going to be uh different for all of you 
but uh, the help that's going to be available, let's jump to that here. Uh, we got the Four of Wands in reverse. So it could be somebody you live with or a family member because it could be causing some instability in the, uh, in the home here. Um, this unstableness is a help to you though. It, it is kind of like somebody's upsetting the apple cart or like, you know, throwing the game table. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm thinking of. It's like somebody's, you know, they lost the game and so they just topple the whole game over. Um, some sort of structure or rule or, or family dynamic, it's time to be upset. It, it is time for someone to upset the apple cart. Uh, so maybe this change you're making, someone's upset because of how it's affecting them. Maybe because you're taking a job and it's going to cause you to have to move. That's just an example. And um, it's a job you really want, but yeah, it would require relocation. Maybe your mate is not on board. Maybe, you know, the kids are not on board or not all the kids or, or whatever. Or um, maybe you've been taking care of an elderly family member and you're going to move and that responsibility is now going to fall on someone else. And they're like trying to talk you out of doing this because of how it's going to affect them. But... Um, now the same can be said as if it's somebody else upsetting the apple cart, right? Like maybe they've been burdened too long. It's time for someone someone else. And you may be upset because you're that person, Aries. It's like, oh God, if you move, this is gonna fall on me. But you know, maybe this person's done their time. It's time for them, you know, this opportunity has come in to liberate them in some way from this. Um, yeah, there's some disruption in a family that's supposed to happen because there's been too much dependence or there's been too much reliance on someone else. And unfairly, um, so this is kind of this person's way out of this. And I feel like though, no matter if it's you or someone else, they didn't know they wanted this until it showed up. So it's not like someone was deliberately or that you were deliberately setting out to upset the apple cart or upset family members or upset people you live with. Um, this could also be if it's like a roommate situation, like, you know, you're moving out or they're moving out and they just kind of spring it and, and you're like, oh, now I gotta find someone else. But do you? Look for the silver lining in this because whatever the upsetting is, again, it's a help to you. It's a help to you in some way, Aries. You may not see it in May, because we've got uh, yeah right here, which is indicating, you know, it could be a gradual thing. It may take a while for the benefits of this to dawn on you. Um, but for others of you, it, you see it right away. It's the other person that it's going to take them a while. Um, you know, in many cases, maybe people have become too reliant on you or, you know, there was like some unspoken, like we would live together forever and it's just not, or maybe even a spoken. For some of you, maybe you are divorcing, separating because the rune of legalities is here. So it could be um, the end of a marriage or relationship, um, like someone moving out or, or um, but it's almost like a necessary like maybe this was a codependent kind of situation. People were overly dependent on you, Aries. And uh, you gotta kinda kick them out of the nest here. Could be kids too, could be one of your kids. Because the blank rune here is saying like, you know, it's gonna force them to grow up. It's gonna force them to become independent. And uh, we all have to be independent. Um, you know, I don't care if you're in a relationship at some point, you know, I mean, you can't depend on your parents forever. Your parents are going to pass away. If you don't know how to do anything or, and are incapable of taking care of yourself, no one else is going to want that responsibility. Um, you know, so yeah, it could be like forcing somebody to, you know, grow the hell up here, become an adult. This is good for everybody, you know? The only person you can depend on in life is yourself, you know, and um, the more confident and stronger you will be when you um, know that you can depend on yourself. So yeah, I feel like, and Aries, I feel like for most of you, you've all, you've all known this. It's your actions though in uh, May that are either increasing that strength, maybe it's this final kind of cord you're cutting 
where you realize, okay, I don't need, I don't need to settle for this relationship. I'm fine on my own, or I don't need to have a roommate. I'm just going to, you know, I don't need to live in this disruptive situation anymore. Or, um, you know, it's time for me to move on. It's time for somebody else to take over this responsibility for this family member or, or however it's working out for you. It's going to ruffle some feathers, but it's supposed to. It's supposed to. Now, in the present, we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. So present energy for most of you is going to be end of April going into early May or whenever you're watching this video for some of you. Um, so yeah, this disruption or, or whatever this is that is causing, like whoever this is, whether it's you or someone else, they're set on this course of action. You're not going to talk them out of it. People aren't going to talk you out of it. Like this is their goal. They want this to happen. And, um, they're not worried about it. The Nine of Swords in reverse means a, a mind free of worry. So they're not going to, you know, uh, they've already considered every outcome. This is, no matter how this looks to you from the outside, they've thought this through. Or no matter how what you're doing looks to the outside, you've thought this through, right? And you've thought through every outcome. And you feel like you're just at this precipice. This is something you have to do. This is something you have to pursue. Um, and it seems like for most of you, what I'm kind of hearing here, Aries, is like you've, you've come through so much, like this is nothing. Like even if this doesn't work out, it's like I've been through worse. Like, you know, it's like they're not going to keep me down. Um, this could also be like, yeah, just this chatter from these other people that are trying to create worry for you. And it just sounds ridiculous to you. It just sounds like they're grasping for straws because I think you realize whoever's trying to talk you out of making this change, it's all motivated because of them. It's all self selfishly motivated, <laughs> you know, um, or Aries. I mean, they may be thinking that about you. Everything you're saying is just because you don't want the responsibility of this or you'd <laughs> so, I mean, I got to say it like it is again, this is for so many people. It's, it's, it's going to depend. It'll be different for all of you. For some of you, it's you. For, for some of you, it's this other person. Um, whoever's on the defensive side here, whoever is uh, defending this big shift or change, um, they're really not going to change their mind. So, I mean, acceptance is going to be necessary. Um, you're not going to change your mind either if it's you. We all know how stubborn you can be, Aries. This is something you've wanted for a long time, though, or a change that you know is going to lead to where you need to go. So, um, and last month, April's reading, I remember Aries, you had a very pivotal, like, um, very big month in April. So this is kind of the fallout. I mean, whenever we are kind of, um, you know, moving up a level or, uh, you know, we're making changes or, uh, you know, making big life changes, it does have a ripple effect on the people around us. So I really kind of think that, this is what's going on. And for some of you, it may be like last month was your month and this month it's somebody else who's kind of like rippling back at you, right? So it's like, oh, Aries is making changes. Well, I'm gonna make big changes too. Now, what must be accepted about the month? Got the death card in reverse. So again, yeah, they're just reiterating, nothing's gonna stop the change. This, You're not gonna put the kibosh on this whether it's your own change or someone else's. For many of you, this has to do with a relationship. There's someone new in your life you want to be with, um, or there's someone new and someone close to you in, in their life that they want to be with, they're very excited about. Um, this is a good match. Um, it's someone who makes them very happy. They seem to enjoy uh, doing a lot of the same things together, or you enjoy doing a lot of the same things together. For whatever reason, maybe maybe your family or other people in the family are not accepting it. Maybe because you're still married to someone else. Maybe even still living with someone else, even though you're making those changes, Aries, in May. Um, so they may, yeah, they may be trying to talk you out of divorcing this person. Um, but it does seem like many of you have met a soulmate. You have a partnership that is bringing you like just so much joy and happiness, and you're not going to change your course of action. Um, this is going to happen. You're not, you're not going to stop this growth. And, um, 
I do feel like for some of you though, the ex may not be letting it die. <laughs> so for some of you, this could be a reunion. It, I, it could be, um, I don't have a lot of indications of that, but for some of you, it could be with the death card in reverse, something that's old that won't die. <laughs> um, so a resurrection of uh, an old relationship. Um, I feel like many of you Aries though are juggling more than one one mate, one more than one partner. So yeah, you may be living with or married to someone, but it's like you may not want to be anymore. You may want to, you know, in that partnership because of this new relationship. Um, or you may be in a happy relationship. You may be really um, like you, you think you're happy and then this person from the past, this old flame reappears. So a couple of different ways this is working out. Um, but for others of you, it's someone else who their new relationship that's causing the disruption in the family, in the household. It could be your partner. Um, I really feel like for most of you though, with the challenge, um, it's you though, Aries. Um, but yeah, you could be kicking somebody out. You could, some of you could be finding out that, you know, somebody's reunited with their old love, your husband, your wife, whatever, and you're kicking them out. But I think for most of you, it's you that this is happening. And um, so this could also be, yeah, it's like you've got this new love you want to be with and, and your partner refusing to give you a divorce so you can be with this person. So there's like this, they may not be ready to give up. Not in May anyway. Um, doesn't mean they won't be later, but it does look like you've got a bit, again, you're going to have to defend your stance in May. The outcome is the two of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, this is juggling and, 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 um, like you can't keep this up forever. It takes too much effort and energy. So you could be juggling more than one person or, um, you just got a lot going on with relationship stuff. Um, and even though this is a pentacles card, the, the foremost way it's coming through considering the rest of this reading is with relationships. There are so many um, demands and responses that are expected from you in May. Um, you, may feel, you may feel like you need to take a break to kind of sort yourself out at some point in May and just kind of um, like you don't want anybody else's input at a certain point you again because you've made up your mind and um now others of you this is saying like if you're juggling more than one lover and they don't know about each other um you're not going to be able to keep this a secret for very long um you know they're not going to put up with being uh juggled in this way so yeah if even if you're just casually dating um more than one person, but they don't know about each other, Aries, like it, it could kind of blow up in your face a little bit or they, if they find out about uh, that. And certainly if you're married and seeing someone else, like this is not, uh, this is the month to come clean as early as possible, really. Uh, because um, you can't please all of the people all the time. And, and anytime you're, you are hiding things from someone who deserves to know the truth, especially if you are in a committed partnership, that almost always comes out. Um, because it's only fair that they know so that they can get on with their life. Um, even though it seems like they're not going to want to. <laughs> they're going to want to hold on to you, Aries. But I mean, once you break the news, I mean, I, I, that's kind of a denial, right? It's like that first phase of grieving, really, denial. Um, so others of you, I think you're just juggling a lot of relationships. You're juggling the dynamics of a lot of different relationships. Again, this may be somebody else in your life close to you who's made up their mind, but it's affecting you in some way and um, or maybe the whole family. And um, you're trying to keep all these balls in the air, all these emotional, uh, you know, ties in the air. And uh, at some point you're just going to have to be like, look, I got to take a break. I can't deal with all of this right now. I can't keep everybody happy all the time. Um, for others of you, I think this is, this needs to drop because that is true. You can't please all the people all the time and be happy yourself. And I do think that May is a month where, you know, you're definitely putting your needs first. Um, 
you know, as you should for the most part, but I do think make sure it's not at the expense of someone else. If this is someone else who's looking to make a change in their life that they're very excited about, um, do your best to kind of put yourself in their shoes. And um, now obviously if this is a mate or a lover or your boyfriend or your girlfriend that's doing this to you, that's a different story, right? If they've made a commitment to you and they're, you know, you find out that they're wanting a divorce or wanting to separate and seeing someone else, of course, that's, you know, that's a different situation. But yeah, if it's a friend or a loved one and, and um, you know, the reason you're upset is because of, you know, it's going to put maybe more responsibility on you or, or like you having to kind of change, you know, something to help someone else in the family. How long have they done it? You know, and maybe you could split it up between other family members, you know, don't feel like it's all going to fall on you, but, um, yeah, just kind of look from a spiritual perspective at how you're, you are, um, behaving within the dynamic from a spiritual perspective, Aries. Um, but yeah, if somebody's trying to overload you with too much, um, it's not going to change their mind because maybe they've had this responsibility on their own forever and they're just like, you know what, I'm done. You guys figure it out. Um, that could be fair. Uh, it's gonna vary from person to person, but um, it does seem like it's too much for one person or it's definitely gonna be too much for you, Aries, because you have other responsibilities. Maybe you have a job and children and you know, uh, you know all of this other stuff going on and this person didn't, but um, so yeah, whatever it is, there's, there's too much going on. You're going to have to either delegate some of the responsibilities to other people. This could be at work too, but, um, because of this card more, it seems more home and family related. Um, but meet me over on Vimeo. Like I said, I'm going to shuffle the witchlings Oracle. We'll see what further messages and clarity we can get on this situation and how best you can handle the energies of the month. That link again is below. So I'll see you over on Vimeo and I'll see you back here next time, Aries. Thanks for watching.